All right, guys, y'all may recognize this property because uh, one of the last fall cleanups I did was this where I trimmed all those trees. So we're back to do the spring part. First off, I'm gonna trim those branches that are coming over the fence because last year, a lot of rock got dumped here and they sowed grass, but it never came up and I think big reason for that is so much shade plus I don't think they used a lot of grass seed that wasn't a great job done on it so I'm going to trim that tree sow some grass there now all these trees there 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 we walk around all these guys are getting landscape edging that plastic edging i'll show you pictures of it later in the video we're gonna put edging around all these trees i think there's nine of them and then i'm going to spray for weeds and put fresh mulch down i've got it estimated right now at about four yards of mulch to do all this it may take a little more well, let's walk down here show you what what's going to happen next the owner, sorry for the bouncing, the owner just wanted, there's no leaf pickup here and I didn't have a leaf vacuum. So he just wanted all of it dumped in this big area down here. So now what's gonna get done, is we're gonna burn this, all these leaves right here. And then after that's gone, we're gonna rake it back and extend this rock garden collection, whatever you wanna call it about right here and just leave a small swath of grass right there just to add some curb appeal to it just enough for me to get that 48 inch x mark down in there make two passes with it and that's just going to be grass and the rest is going to be rock so the guys that did this last year put the wrong size rock down see how little it is so you guys know you hit that with a trimmer, chances are it's gonna go flying. So I've gotta take all these down, take them, you know, get them about four or five inches high, clean that out, clean that bed out, and take all the rock that are around this, fill them in there. Then I'm gonna go get six inch rock six inch river rock and line this one. This is the only one that's getting river rock. The rest of these guys are getting that landscape and edging that I was talking about. Then, if you can tell, that's a pretty steep hill right there. It's real steep actually. But this is a just a big culvert and it's really hard to mow. So what we're gonna do, what I'm gonna do, is bring a couple of loads of topsoil in and just kind of level it out there. As you can see, all these roots that are running through, I'm gonna cover those up, make for better mowing, and of course, sow it with grass. Here's another one, so. But this is, I think it's a three and a half acre property. Um, last year, there's trees up in the back, if I can show you. He did with rubber mulch, that bed right there, that bed, and those little guys up there all have black rubber mulch in it, but he's just gonna go with hardwood around these trees, I guess because rubber mulch is so expensive. But pretty daunting task for one person, but hopefully, Today's Wednesday, hopefully by Friday, maybe, I'll be done with this. But, never gonna get finished if you don't get started, so uh, that's an intro to it, guys. I'm gonna get started and I'll shoot some more later, so stay tuned.
Well, plans change as they often do whenever you're in this business. As you can see, they didn't burn. Tried some, uh, probably not to say the same world, but tried gas at first, uh, then got twigs and built it like a campfire, but that's all this past fall season's leaves. And you've seen the property. And they're just wet with, we've had days upon days of rain, so I didn't figure they'd burn too well. So we get to load them up in this and haul them off. If you follow me on Instagram, uh, you'd see the process. I, I just got the this thing done, and it's not all the way done yet, but enough to be able to use it. Got it done this weekend. In the meantime, though, I have managed to prep all the beds. You can see my little piles I've got to get up. But I'm gonna spray them, get the pile little debris piles up, spray them, and get the edging down. But first thing, I'm going to, I've got about three hours of daylight left. I'm going to try and get all those in the trailer and then go up and trim that tree so it can get some sunlight and get all that hauled off. I'll dump it in the morning. Probably go pick up some mulch after that if I can fit all these leaves in there. And uh, come out here and th start throwing the edge into it and get the mulch down. So let's get back to work. All right, so you can see what I'm dealing with now. I got a ton up, but it's still just kind of like mud in here. And thick. So I'm trying to come up with another game plan for this because uh, that's what you're hearing because I just shoveled it up on there well rake shovel whatever I could do to get down there so I'm gonna think on that tonight and this will be waiting on me in the morning I did however get all those beds prepped so all I've got to do is edge and or put that landscape edge and mulch that but this is gonna be the fun part so we'll be back at it again more. All right, after about four and a half hours of that, that's the second load, by the way. First load was 1,320 pounds. Let me show you. Y'all know what leaves like that are. That's what all that was. Now what's left down in there that's good dirt, so I can sow grass seed down in there. And that's already just mud where it's started decomposing. So hopefully what we're gonna do is just cover all that up with more rock. And then he wants just a little patch of grass going up through there. Just like a 48 inch cut and able to turn around up there and come back out. So hopefully that one's done. Uh, we'll find out what he thinks about it. If not, I'm gonna be shoveling probably another 500 pounds of mud out of there. But I, I think he'll be good with that right there. It, it ought to be mushy enough to put rock on. You can tell whenever my foot, it just goes down in it. So, even roll over it the roller and probably be all right all right finally getting to that tree up there let's go all right so like i said we're finally to the tree part two of my favorite tools the steel ms 170 and the echo 2620 ppt so Last year, as you can see, grass didn't take off that well like it should have. And we're blaming partly because of all that right there was blocking it from getting any sun. So what I did, I just come in, of course the trees on the neighbor's lawn, but 
this part was hanging off on their side. So I just got up as high as I could get it with the pole saw. Thanks, awesome guys. If you, you tree guys know this, but on these branches, if you'll cut about 25, 35% of the way up from the bottom and then make your down cut, it just drops straight down. It's awesome. This one fell all the way out in the road. But that's going to let a lot more light in. Hopefully grow some grass this year. All right, so just catching you all up on that. Still got the leaves in there. I'm going to pile all them branches, hopefully, on top of that. And then we'll make another dump run. So let's get started cutting up. All right, guys, after a trip to another trip to the dump, that load was, I think, 1,850 pounds of wet leaves and wet brush. Y'all saw me cut off the tree. This is 2,000 pounds of river slicks, river rocks. So, as I was talking about earlier, the homeowner was fine with that since oh, it's pretty much mud. We're just going to cover all that up with river rock and we're going to sow just a little bit of grass through there i'll probably just weed eat it won't even fool with mowing it whenever it does grow so that trailer won't hold it, it's squatted with 2,000 pounds on it so i'll be making several trips i'd say so let's get that and that wheelbarrow in there let's get started all right, so I've got this border laid out. Now this is all gonna be rock now. And we're just gonna have this little accent sliver of grass right through there. So now just to get that filled in. Still got quite a bit of rock left to go, but I think that's gonna look really neat. All right, stay tuned. All right, so right through there all that's the new so that's how far 2,000 pounds goes not very far so I just talked to the property owner looks like maybe we're she saying three or four more tons so yeah back ought to feel good after this again I'm doing it shovel and wheelbarrow but the bigger ones what I call the bigger ones that I'm outlining it with like that big I'm pulling some of those out because I'm leaving this part right here so I can get the wheelbarrow down in there also if you'll notice this big rut right here that's where the wheelbarrow is sunk down in whenever I was going across it that's always fun but anyway like I said, there's the first ton. And sun's going down. So I uh, hope to have this knocked out and start on the mulch tomorrow. But three or four more ton of, of the rock. It's gonna be tons of fun, no pun intended. All right, guys, stay tuned. We'll do more tomorrow.